Hello everyone, today I brought you a new video which would be a new experience for you. This video is about the ancient elephant modeled oil lamp found only in Sri Lanka. My utmost desire is not only to introduce this specific lamp to you but also to talk about the scientific background of it. I suppose you know that the society is balanced being based on the knowledge which is constructed in accordance with the environment and tradition. Have you ever known that the knowledge, cultural values possessed by the ancient society is necessary to the modern society as well? Today I am discussing on is a valuable cultural heritage of Sri Lankan history. The knowledge stabilizes the efficiency of production and sustainable existence of a country. Well organized knowledge can make a country self sufficient, which is the most valuable lesson taught by the history. In Sri Lankan history, there are ample evidences to prove that the prehistorical civilians of Sri Lanka had scientifically fulfilled their daily requirements. Today, I'm talking on such a long historical scientific creation of Sri Lankans. This creation has been done during the reign of King Parakrambahu of the first between 1153 BC to 1186 BC which obviously shows the knowledge on physics of its creators, our Sri Lankan ancestors. This creation is based on the principle of statistic kinetics. This creation had been found in a religious place called Kotavera Dagaba in Dadigama in Kegol in Sri Lanka. Some time ago, this place had been called Punkagama. Kotavera Dagaba is a famous religious place in Sri Lanka. I may explain you what a Dagaba is. Dagaba is a dome-shaped construction containing relics of Lord Buddha or Buddhist saints or Arahat disciples of Lord Buddha. Arahat is a great disciple of Lord Buddha who attained Nibbana or the termination of the circle of rebirth. This particular Kotavehra Dagaba had been excavated by the famous Sri Lankan archaeologist Dr. Senarat Parana Vitarana. That time he had found this lamp made of bronze. This is how it looks like. Now I am showing a duplicate of the original lamp. This is the duplicate. Of this duplicate lamp, the elephant is made of fiber so that the oil can be seen within the transparent elephant. Okay friends, this is the original lamp and this is the duplicate one. Now you can see both separately in this picture. This type of duplicate lamp is made to identify the hydraulic system of the lamp for the students. Now this is also a duplicate lamp of Dadigama elephant oil lamp. Here you can see several wicks around, therefore you can light many wicks at the same time. This isn't the original. Original one I have shown you which is made of bronze. I am using this for my explanations. Now on the lamp you can see an elephant. There are two human figures on the elephant. The handle of the lamp is formed as a fire ring. In the middle of the handle, you can see a chain which is used to hang the lamp. Within the chain, you also can see human figures. The edge of the chain which is used to hang the lamp is a hood of a cobra. What a fantastic creation this is. Now you may see how the hydraulic system works based on statistic kinetics principle. Now friends, we never fill this lamp with oil as we do for an ordinary lamp. We can remove the bronze elephant from its base like this. Now I'll turn the elephant upside down. Now you may see a hole right on the front leg of the elephant. The stomach of the elephant is an empty hole. I have shown you it in the picture by the letter A. Let's imagine this is the plate on which the elephant is placed. Now imagine I have removed it like this. Now you have to turn it upside down. On the bottom of the elephant's front leg, there's a pipe driven to the stomach. This is the original one. Now you can see the mouth of the hole from which we fill the elephant with oil. Now we have to fill the elephant with oil. After the elephant is filled with oil, we can fix it on its base like this. After that, we have to hang it with its chain 
After that we have to light the lamp. Now look at the letter B in this picture. It is the hole to fill the stomach of the elephant. When the elephant is filled with oil fixed to its base, there is only a hole for the oil to exit, which is found in the genitalia of the elephant. If you look at the picture carefully, the letter B is the mouth of the hole from which we fill the oil. When the elephant is stood, the mouth of the hole of its leg is on the oil surface of the plate on which it is standing. The hole of the elephant's leg doesn't flow the oil down through the pipe because its upright edge is above the oil level in the elephant's stomach. The only way for the oil to flow is the hole in the genitalia of the elephant. How fantastic this creation is! You can see the elephant urinating when the lamp is lit. Now we have to see how it happens. Now the point is how the oil flows from the genitalia of the elephant. There should be some force of air for it to shed oil. Now you may wonder how it happens. Now the point is how air enters the stomach to push inside oil to outside. Now you will see how this mechanism operates. When the plate on which the elephant is standing filled with oil, the elephant's legs are drowned in oil. Therefore the whole of the elephant's leg can't intake air. The oil of the plate burns when the lamp is lit. With the consumption of oil, the plate's oil level goes down and the hole in the elephant's leg is open to the air. Then the air starts to enter through the hole of the elephant's leg to the stomach, which makes the oil inside of the elephant's stomach flow down from the genitalia of the elephant. Then the plate is filled with oil flowing from the genitalia of the elephant. When the plate is filled with oil until the hole of the elephant's leg covers with oil, the oil flowing from the genitalia of the elephant stops automatically. This repeats automatically. The oil in the plate doesn't overflow because the oil flowing from the genitalia automatically stops when the hole in the elephant's front leg covers with oil of the plate. Again it starts to flow oil from the genitalia when oil of the plate burns. This historical innovation shows how talented our Sri Lankan ancestors were and how much scientific knowledge they had. Thank you very much.